G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam, in case you forgot, or in case you've never been here before. If it's the latter, I would love if you would subscribe. We post two new yoga videos a week here, from beginner to advanced. There's, there's absolutely everything on this channel, so if it's your first time jumping on the yoga mat, or you practice every day, 10 times a day, I'm sure you can find something that will suit you. Today's practice is going to be short. We are working to find some relief and some opening through the chest and shoulders. So if you're someone who spends a lot of time, perhaps at a desk, driving a car, or you just tend to slouch and round, then this practice is going to be for you. I'm gonna to work to broaden through the collarbones, open through the chest and shoulders, and hopefully give you a little more space and a little more relief. You won't need any props for today's practice, apart from a floor. So if you've got one of those, we'll get right into it. Alrighty friends, we'll start today sitting the hips back to heels and we just want to get comfortable with the idea of sitting up tall. So if you naturally tend to slouch and round, then we think shoulder blades draw towards each other, chest begins to rise, and then we slightly tuck the tailbone under just to avoid dumping into the low back. Interlace the fingers, rest them just between your thighs and close your eyes. moments to breathe, nothing more than that. Feel the chest lifting, collarbones broadening. Just looking to find space in the, the front of the body, the chest and shoulders today. A little bit of relief, a little bit of opening. One last breath. And we'll blink the eyes open. From here, set your right fingertips down by the side, reach your left arm up and overhead, look under the left armpit and feel that space in the left hand side of the body. Another breath. And coming back through center, set your left hand down, reach your right arm up and overhead, look under your right armpit, feel the space in the right hand side of your body. Breathe in deep. One more breath there. And gently come back through center. We'll lift the head. Just play with interlacing the hands behind the back. Pulling shoulder blades towards you. Lifting that chest up and letting the knuckles chase the ground behind you. Maybe the knuckles rest against the soles of the feet. Feel the shoulder blades descend and move down the back. So rather than the shoulders lifting up, we're letting them move down, broadening through collarbones, lengthening through the neck. Take an inhale. If you can from here, keep your hands interlaced. Take both fists above your right hip. Hug your right elbow in towards your body and start to drop your left ear over towards your left shoulder. You can continue to draw that right elbow in just to experience more of that stretch through the, the middle part of your shoulder and into your neck there on the right hand side. Take a breath. Exhale, head back through center. We'll take the fists, pop them on the opposite side just above your left hip. Squeeze that left elbow in, allow right ear to fall to right shoulder. Can inhale. And come back through center. Release the hands. Give them a chance just to shake out by the side. And then from here, we're going to make our way down onto our belly. As you do, take up a lot of space. And it may take some adjusting. But when you get down, especially in the yoga practice, we can tend to bunch up the, the skin of the chest and belly when we come on down. So when you arrive down, untuck your toes. Use your fingertips here. Start to lift the chest and try and unsquish, if you like, all the skin there on the chest and the belly. And then once you arrive, we're going to set the forehead down. Rest the arms out to either side. 
like they were the branches of a cactus, so a 90 degree set up. In a moment we're going to work to find some strength through the back body and a little bit of length and opening through the front body. We'll start that motion by pressing the tops of your feet down so you feel your knees start to lift off the mat. And from that action, we're going to just lift the arms off the mat. So keep them bent 90 degrees, feel the shoulder blades squeeze towards each other. And then from there, when you're ready, lift your head, and lift your chest and float your legs as well. So squeeze across the shoulder blades, let the crown of the head reach forwards. Then from here, as we inhale, reach the arms out in front of you. Exhale, squeeze the elbows back towards each other, lift the chest a little bit higher. And we have four more like that. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze back to lift. Three more. Inhale. Exhale to squeeze. See if the legs can lift a little higher too. Two more. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, squeeze back and lift. Last one. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, we squeeze. And then gently lower down. Nice work, my friends. From here, we are going to work to release into that chest and shoulder a little bit more. We'll start with the left-hand side. So left arm's going to stay exactly as it is. We're going to take the left cheek to the mat. Setting the right fingertips nice and close to the face, let the right elbow rise higher. Then from here, we start to roll off onto the outside edge of the left hip as we take the right leg up and over. Now, if you want to, quick look at your left arm and see if it is, in fact, in that shape of the 90 degree. The more you open the angle, the more you'll feel. And of course, if you start to feel a pinching, it may be more comfortable for you to simply extend your left arm all the way out towards the left-hand side. So I want you to explore and see what feels the most comfortable for you right now. You can work to set the right foot down somewhere rather than having it floating in the air. Bend the knee and straighten the leg as much as you need until you find a space for it to rest. Take one last breath. And gently roll your hips back through center for a moment. We're going to look towards the left arm, lift it in the air. Up. And then we'll return left cheek to the mat, again rolling up and over. So this time you may be able to lift a little bit higher. Notice my head is now lifting off the mat, my right arm is free. Again, still trying to keep that 90 degree angle. If you have space, you may be able to interlace the hands behind the back. And then if you wanted to take it further, you could straighten the arms. Now this is going to get nice and strong through the front of that left shoulder. You could keep the head resting down or you could lift it and just look off towards the right-hand side of the room. Take an inhale. If the hands are interlaced, we gently release. We roll the hips back through center. Nice work. And setting up for our right side, again, try and unskin and belly. Take your right arm out 90 degrees. Rest your right cheek onto the mat. And with the left fingers nice and close towards the face, we start to roll off onto the outside edge of that right hip. And again, exploring your range, you may like to extend your right arm all the way out to the right hand side. Notice there's a lot more lift that way. And you explore that 90 degree and see what feels comfortable for you. Shifting your way back through center. Quick look at the right arm, just change direction, still in the 90 degree, but back of arm is grounded now. And then we roll up and over. Again, you'll find a lot more lift in this space. You can stay there. The more the elbow moves to the front of the room, the more intense the stretch is going to be. And then if there's space, interlace the hands behind the back. Potentially, if it's available, play with straightening the arms. So you find a space that works for you trying to force anything too much, but instead we want it to feel restorative, like you're doing something that's good for the body. 
and you're finding space, you're finding relief. Take one last breath. And then releasing your hands. Roll back through center. Set your hands down by your low ribs. Press up onto hands and knees. And then set the hips back towards the heels. This time we'll tuck our toes under if we can. Pull the shoulders back just like we practiced. Lift the chest. And find some strong opening across the front body to finish off. Stick with me, see how we go. We're going to take the hands to the ankles. We'll go one at a time, four fingers on the outside, thumb on the inside for today. If you can, you catch hold of both of them. And then see if we can from here, pull the shoulder blades back towards each other to lift the chest. This could be enough for us. We could absolutely stay here. If you wanna take it further, keep hold of the ankles, just start to lift the hips. As the hips rise, we push them forwards. The chest begins to open. Shoulder blades stay squeezing back. Take an inhale. Exhale, sit hips back to heels. Inhale, shoulders roll back. We press forwards. Exhale, hips back to heels. One last time. Inhale, hips roll forward. Shoulder blades roll back. If there's space, drop the head. And keep driving those hips forwards, lifting that chest up. Now, I quite like to lift the head here. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Once you arrive, drop your hips down. Untuck your toes. Give yourself a moment. Let the knees close. Fall over your legs into So today's practice, just a quick chance for you to find more space in the front body. If you spend a lot of time at a desk, if you spend a lot of time behind the wheel or in public transport, you may be naturally in that slouchy, that roundy sort of motion. So use this practice just as a chance to recalibrate, to give yourself more opening and hopefully to power through the rest of the day. So always I wanna thank you so much for practicing and I'll see you again soon. Peace.